Friends, family, and colleagues are coming together in support of CSUN's Eshimomeni. The grad student was in Iran visiting family and working on her master's thesis when she was initially arrested for a minor traffic violation. Iranian officials imprisoned the 28-year-old in Tehran's Evin prison. Attendees at the vigil light candles in Momeni's honor in the hopes of her safe return. Although Momeni has been released from prison on bail, friends and family say that the fight isn't over. She will now have to stand trial for supposed crimes committed against the Iranian government. Well, it's a huge relief that she's even out of prison. That, that was the big nightmare. The fact that she's out on bail still gives me reason for worry because that implies that she's not out of the woods yet. She says, please, uh, 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 while she is grateful for everything that you've done for her, to not forget everyone else as well. Uh, thank you, thank you again. She was just really good. She's very inspirational, very inspirational student. I saw her all the time. Every time, I'm sorry, every time I saw her, she had a stack of books in her arms that she had read that week. And at times, she would even have a book that she recommended for my own research. And here she is doing research for her own project, and she has time to recommend something for a project that I'm working on. Free! Esha! Free! Esha! Free! Esha! Inside, I felt proud of my little Esha. This feeling gives me an inner delight and the strength of a young man. This brave woman roars like a caged lion, yet she leads a great symphony which will make the universe dance and lifts me like a light-footed angel up to the zenith of my dreams in hope of your immediate release. As a volunteer with the Campaign for Equality, Momeni advocates better treatment of women in Iran. Iran and all that makes it unique. She worked with the One Million Signatures campaign in an effort to inspire change. Now signatures are being collected on her behalf to help secure her unconditional release. In Northridge, I'm Chrissy McQueen for Valley View News.